Hi guys, it's your pharmacist here. Um, I'm going to talk to you today about coronavirus and in specifically hand sanitizers. As a local pharmacist, I've realized that there is no hand sanitizer in the country and it's giving a lot of patients a lot of anxiety and people do not feel protected. I want to make sure you feel protected. I've got your back and I'm going to show you a very easy way to make these hand sanitizers. All you need is four ingredients, okay? You need your base ingredient, which is rubbing alcohol, um, also known as isopropyl alcohol. Make sure it's 70% because you need that strength to protect you. You can get this from a pharmacy, you can get it from a hardware shop. It's very easy to get your hands on this. You also need aloe vera, you know, um, that's just a cooling agent for the alcohol. So it's not too harmful for your skin. Finally, you need some essential oils. I've chosen tea tree oil because of its antibacterial properties. And I've also chosen lavender because it smells fantastic. Okay, let's go. So what we do here is you get a bottle. I've got about, say, I think this is about 150 mils. What you want to do with this bottle is add just over 60%, fill over 60% of this bottle with your rubbing alcohol. So let's go. Okay, I think that's just over 60, maybe a little bit more for luck. Okay, now we're good. Right, you want to put about 10 drops each of your essential oils. I'm going to go for the lavender for 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And about 10 drops. Of the tea tree oil. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It doesn't matter how many drops you put in, the main thing is that you've got enough um, rubbing alcohol in there. So let's close this. Finally, we add some aloe vera. As I said, this is the cooling agent, so you don't burn yourself with the alcohol. And you just want to fill up the rest of it with the aloe vera. That's it. Lastly, we shake. We shake the mixture. We shake the cocktail. <laughs> oh, that looks good. It smells nice from here as well. You can see that nice colonial consistency. Nice. And then you have it, voila. You've got your hand sanitizer. You put in your bag and you've got enough to make for your friends and family and enough to protect yourself. And guys, let me tell you something. You want to check to make sure it's good, okay for your skin first. So what I would do is just apply a patch, apply an amount, oh, that feels lovely to your skin and just make sure it's not, um, giving you any skin allergies or anything. So you can leave that for a few minutes because if it was an allergy, it would start right away. Oh, that smells beautiful. Let me protect myself. Mm. Oh, that feels good. Guys, hand sanitizer. I got your back. Good night.